Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is material, the object orientation node. Let's go ahead and look at the object orientation node quickly. It can be easily found just looking for object or orientation. And basically it is intended to tell us which way is up or the Z positive axis on this object that this material is applied to. Now it may seem a little bit difficult to understand, but let's give a visual example. So for this, what I'm doing is taking the orientation, dividing it by one, and put it into the emissive color. I don't need to do this, but I'm doing it because why not? But basically, we're going to take the orientation and put it into the emissive color. Now I have three cubes that we're going to use for the example. Keep in mind, the orientation is which direction is Z up in the local space. All three of these, if you notice, have the blue up. That is why the color is blue. Basically, we are saying it is a Z positive right now, which means our blue value is going to be 1 and the rest will be zeros. Now, if I rotate this object to my left, it's going to turn red. And if I rotate this object forward, it's going to turn green. I stop them each at 90 degrees. Now, if we were to look at the local axis, if I click on the world and local transform here, this is the world transform where Z is going to be up at all times. But if I change it to local, you'll notice after I've rotated these, I haven't rotated this, so my Z, my blue line, is up and it's pointing towards the Z, which means my Z value is going to be positive or 1. I rotated this. If you'll notice, my Z value is now to my left, where in world space, that is going to be red because it's along the X. And if we look at my green one, let's zoom out a little bit, we are going to notice that the blue arrow is facing this direction. When we compare it to the world direction, well, that's green or on the Y. Basically, whichever this face is, it's this face right here where the blue arrow is, it's this face right here where the blue arrow is, and it's going to be this face right here where the blue arrow is. That direction, in this case it would be Z, it would be X, and it would be Y, that is going to be the return value. So in this case, I'm going to get back a value of 0, 0, 1, or red, green, blue, X, Y, Z. In this case, because I rotated it, I'm going to get an X of 1, a Y, or a blue G of 0, and a blue of 0. In this case, I'm going to get a red of 0, a green of 1, and a Z of 0, because I'm facing along the Y axis. My up direction on this material, the Z positive, is facing in the Y axis. Now, if I was to flip this, you should hopefully be able to figure out that I'm going to end up getting black because I now have negative values for my, if we look at the way it's facing, it's now negative along the Y. This is positive Y, this is negative Y. So now I have negative green and I have zero for my red and zero for my blue. So I'm going to end up with black. And of course, if I continue to rotate it, I'm going to still continue to have negative until I get to a positive rotation value. And then it's going to go back to green. And that's it. So, like I said, the direction for the local axis, Z up, is going to be whichever direction it's facing. And that is going to be the result you get back. And, of course, you can get values in between. I'm to rotate this. Uh, let's go for... Let's see if we can get a different color out of this. There we go. There, it is. there we go. This is a purple. If we check, we'll notice it is facing this direction. So according to this, we have some Z or blue. 
and it looks like we have a little bit of red. We have no green. So this is going to be something that gives us a value where we have some red and we have some blue. And that's why we have this pink color. So that's going to wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.